Hello everyone, welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. It's me, John. And today I'm going to do something... I don't know if special is the right word, or... Unnecessary. Unnecessary. So, at least in my area, which is the Chicago area, in fact I'm in Chicago, uh, the McDonald's recently have started selling... Krispy Kreme Donuts, and you can get original glazed, the chocolate uh, frosting glaze with sprinkles, or the chocolate frosting uh, glaze with um, the vanilla whipped cream filling. So three types. Then you can get them individually. Uh, you can get them in a half dozen, which I have a half dozen box here. Um, they also have a full dozen. And you can get either all glazed or the mixed. And if you get mixed, you get uh, two glazed, two chocolate frosting, two chocolate filled. Um, and I think for the devil, it says four of each. Uh, but anyway, the first time I found this out, um, it was around a, a lunchtime. And I got one of the glazed and I had a McDouble and I decided... You know, there's a thing that exists already called a Luther burger. It's when they take a donut and they cut it in half and use it as buns for a cheeseburger. So why not try it at the McDonald's? Uh, so I did. I put uh, took the buns off of my McDouble, cut a glazed uh, Krispy Kreme in half, put the burger in there, tried it, and I thought, hmm, you know, it's all right. But I think I just prefer a regular McDonald's cheeseburger. Um, I made a post about it on my Facebook group for the Fat Hipster channel. And I posted it to a few like food-related uh, groups on the Facebook. And the majority of the comments I got were either about the Luther Burger, but then there was a few of them that said that they thought it was gross, but it might work for the breakfast sandwiches. And I thought that was a great idea. And at McDonald's for breakfast, there are six different um, breakfast fillings for uh, breakfast sandwiches you can get. Um, sausage, bacon, the ham that's in the McMuffin, and the, you can also get for breakfast a chicken or a spicy chicken. Um, and you can get those on McRiddles, McMuffins, Oh, and there's a steak, the steak one too as well. McGriddles, muffins, biscuits, bagels. Yeah, I think that's four, four different types of buns you can get. But you can't order it on a donut. But you can order a half dozen glazed donuts, cut those in half, and create your own. dozen of breakfast sandwiches from McDonald's. I don't know how the volume is going to be with me talking behind this, um, but we'll find that out later. So what I've done is I've got one donut each that has steak, sausage, bacon, the ham that comes on the McMuffin, a regular chicken and a spicy chicken. We're going to take one bite of each of these, figure out which one is the best, or if they are all terrible. So we're going to go ahead and start with what I think is the most uh, original breakfast sandwich, the McMuffin. So this one has, inside of the Krispy Kreme donut, you have the circle egg with the cheese that I scraped off from the bun so it's kind of all in the middle the circular egg and the slice of Canadian bacon or ham or whatnot let's give it a bite on this uh, crispy cream let's see if it tastes good
Mm. Not a fan of that one. So, the burger one I thought was okay. It just was um, not as good as, it was not as good as the, uh, just a regular bun for the burger. Same goes for the McMuffin. The, uh, the regular um, English muffin that goes in the egg muffin is better than eating it on a donut. Uh, moving along, I think the next most basic thing they have is the sausage, egg, and cheese. So I have that. This one has a folded egg and cheese and the sausage patty. Let's try this one. This one's better. <laughs> the savory saltiness of the sausage patty really balances out that overwhelmingly sweet uh, flavor of the donut itself. <clears throat> Is it better than just having it on a regular one or a McGriddle even? I don't know. I think it's not as good as a McGriddle actually. Next up we'll have the bacon egg and cheese again with a folded egg. Mm. This one's also good. I think, still, I'd rather have it on the griddle. The griddle just uh, tastes better to me. I don't know. I would say that's probably second behind the sausage patty. Uh, next up, let's move to the chicken options. First, we have the regular McChicken. Mm. That's actually pretty good. In fact, it might be my favorite one now. And I think I know why. It's the first one I've had that did not have an egg on it. So I might go back through these, remove the eggs. Let's see if it tastes better without the egg. Well, first, let's try the spicy chicken. Texture-wise, it's similar to the regular McChicken, but I think I prefer the regular McChicken um, just because it has a more savory flavor. Uh, it just seems like the, the spicy one, they put less salt on for some reason. I don't know if that's true, uh, but it's spicier, sure, but it's less savory for some reason. Lastly, the steak sandwich, again with a folded egg on it, with the Krispy Kreme donut. Mm. That's the winner. I know their steak sandwich isn't really steak, it's like basically a burger uh, patty, but it has some kind of special seasoning they put on it. it has those onions that they grill up with it. it has that uh, hollandaise like breakfast sauce or whatever they call it in there as well. Um, 
<clears throat> the best one. Uh, it's just because it's the most savory out of everything. So I think that's why. Um, you need something really salty and savory to punch through the extremely sweetness of the donut itself. Uh, the folded eggs, for the purpose of the donut sandwich, work better than the circular eggs. The circular egg just... I like them. They taste like egg. They're good. It's just too... Um, I don't know, too eggy. I'm not sure if that's the correct phrase, but um, I'm going to go ahead and try these all again and remove the eggs to see if just the meat and the donut taste better. No. The Egg McMuffin is the worst one. with the egg, without the egg, the little slice of ham is just not salty enough. It just doesn't work. Okay, next I'm going to try removing the folded egg from the sausage, in case any sausage uh, by itself. That is better. The bacon one. Let's see if I can get the bacon one without the egg. Again, it is better. Then we'll do a steak one without the egg on me. The cheese on the egg, so let me get a little bit of that cheese just so I can get a bite that has cheese on it. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I think I've learned a lot from this experiment, and that is this. Eggs don't really taste good on donut sandwiches at all. The circular egg was worse. Um, I think it was literally a textural thing. It just tastes too wet. For the donut, um, it doesn't have, it's not salty enough. Uh, it just tastes like this, like, slimy, wet disc inside of the donut that's already a little bit wet because it's glazed, so not a good uh, contrast of flavors. It's just uh, not good at all. And the Egg McMuffin uh, ham, uh, it just tastes like nothing. It's not salty. It's not really flavorful at all but I would say the top two are the sausage patty and the steak sandwich patty um, followed by the regular chicken patty um, and then bacon and then the spicy chicken patty I would not get the egg McMuffin meat at all and I would definitely stay away from putting an egg on it, regardless if it's a folded or a circular egg. I would just put donut, meat, and cheese on there. Um, maybe some sauce would be nice. I don't know if like a, if you want to go with a savory sauce, maybe like a mayo-based sauce, or maybe something sweet like a jelly or syrup on there. I'd say probably not with a sweet sauce, because the problem is really balancing the sweetness, not necessarily adding to it. Um, but the sausage one and the steak one, I'll give those thumbs up. It's everything else is meh. Uh, maybe the chicken one too. The regular McChicken, the sausage patty, and the steak sandwich patty, I will give thumbs up too. I think those are worth 
um, giving you the suggestion to trying them out. The other three, I would say, just get them out of the regular they come. Bacon, egg, and cheese tastes better on a McGriddle for sure. The spicy uh, chicken probably tastes re pretty much the same regardless. I don't really think it went well with the with the donut. Um, it just wasn't it wasn't savory enough. It was just a little bit of spice and not really spicy enough to uh, cut through the sweetness. And like I said, the McMuffin not at all, not at all with the McMuffin and the donut. But I think maybe at some point in the future, um, McDonald's working the kitchen magic there, testing things out. Maybe you try a donut sandwich with uh, the sausage, the steak, uh, the chicken. Probably give the option of uh, the bacon and the spicy chicken just because you already have those things. So it's not going to be more than programming another button to put those on the menu. But definitely the sausage and the steak are two things um, that I would say are, are good options. The regular McChicken is decent. Uh, but that's all I have to say about this one. Hope you, hopefully you liked it. Let me know in the comment section below if your McDonald's already has Krispy Kreme available and if this sounds like something that you want to try, um, either for uh, breakfast like this or for lunch or, or dinner with one of their burgers. Um, I, like I said, I tried it with their McDouble. Uh, I haven't tried it with a quarter pounder, but I assume burger and burger is going to be pretty similar and like I said it was all right but I prefer it on a regular bun uh, when it comes to the burger the donut uh, flavor and texture didn't really go well for me with that um, but I do think yeah the the better option for this would be the breakfast sandwich um, so let me know if you have these in your McDonald's if you want to try it if it was on the menu or do it yourself like I did, please give this video a like and please subscribe to the Fat Hipster channel. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye for now.